Good morning. It's 7 in the morning in Bangkok, just off Khao Sam Road, which is the main backpacker road in Bangkok. I'm going to venture out today. I'm not staying in Bangkok. I'm going to go to a bit outside and go to the bus station in a minute because there's a place I really want to go see. I've been to Bangkok a few times in the past, in the last few years. Last time, the first time I came here was when I was 19, so six years ago. And I'm always drawn back to Thailand. I, I love it. It's a beautiful country, amazing food, cheap, friendly people. And I want to show you a bit over the next few weeks why I love it. But first, today, I'm going to head outside Bangkok and go to a place I've never been before. Right, let's get eating this. Oh, and if you're thinking this is probably a bit much for seven in the morning, you're completely right. <laughs> it's basic. That was awesome. And Alice just arrived. Hey, Alice. And Kim. And they're coming with to the place that we are going. Outside of Bangkok. You remember them from the Underground River video? And from yesterday. <laughs> as well. So, anyway, we're going to get on the road now, I think. Did you get something to go? I did. Cool. Yeah. So a traditional it. Thai ham and cheese. <laughs> Sounds very cultural. <laughs> and now we're going to go. Sure, one moment. Okay, so we're now in our little bus on the way to Kanchala Bureau, which is where we go. I'm not sure if I mentioned that already. There's a few good things to see there. And you'll see what they are in a few minutes. Yes. Uh, it was really easy. As soon as we got to the southern bus terminal, there was a bus waiting. We just jumped on, we were there for about two minutes, and now we're off again. Get a very cool coffee. Yeah, more of it. Ah, so we're here now in Kanchanaburi. Now what? Let's figure out where to go. Ooh. <laughs> So I think we've sorted it. There's a bus in 40 minutes to the waterfall, which is the first thing I want to see. It's about an hour bus from here, but it'll be worth it. Uh, so we've got 40 minutes to kill first. Just uh, met the tourist piece here. He's from Australia, but been living here for the last five years, which is really helpful. So he told us exactly what to do. And so yeah, I think we've sorted. Kill a bit of time now, and then head to the waterfall. And then, so back. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Bye. See you later. Alright, change of plan. They want to go to the war cemetery and museums here. This is quite a historical place as well. But I want to go to the waterfall first and then maybe see if I have time to do that later. So I'll catch up with them later. So, just arrived in Erawan National Park, where there's a beautiful waterfall that I've never seen before. So I'm going to go find that, and it's, it's meant to be amazing, so we'll see that anyway. But I just thought, on the bus, I just had a random thought that in the last week or so, on the videos, I haven't shown you me working. 
and there is a reason for that. I still have them. I still need to get the website finished and it's almost finished now. It's literally about to be handed over in the next couple of days to the Australian company. But the reason I haven't shown you it is because I've actually been in Bangkok for three days. This is my third day, you've only seen one. But yesterday, I just sat in a coffee shop from nine in the morning till five in the afternoon and just worked solidly all day in order to try and get it to a point where it's ready. It was hard in the Philippines because of the Wi-Fi, but now I'm here in Thailand, the Wi-Fi and the internet is great. So I just cracked on and did that. But I just thought, full disclosure, I'll let you know that, that there's a day missing. I just worked solidly on the laptop. Anyway, onwards to the waterfall. Oh yeah, by the way, I just thought I'll ask the client if she wants the website to be shown and then when I do get to hand it over, I'll put it in the description and then you can see it as well. Yeah, we'll see anyway. Staying from alcohol, glass containers, foam, guitar and pets into the waterfall. So no throwing your guitar or pets into the waterfall. Here we go, there is seven different levels of the waterfall, is what I was told. And they're all at different heights. The highest one, 2,000 meters. That sounds awesome. Let's go have a look. Right, time to bust out the big guns. So the reason I got this was mainly not to use it for vlogging, but was to use it for better quality videos. Like the one I did for Destination Found, something like that, but with a higher quality camera. But for now, it's the first day I'm gonna try and use it. I'm still figuring it out. So I'm gonna try it now and include it next and see how it goes. I hope this works. still getting used to that so I have no idea if any of that works. The idea with that camera is to do a video of the whole of Thailand like I did with Bali and like I'm doing right now with the Philippines so I'm editing that and hopefully with that I can get some good shots but right now I'm still learning so I have no idea how that came out. Anyway this is where I am now and it's beautiful. A lot of people so I think it'll make a good time lapse. Oh well, hopefully that turned out alright. <laughs> um, regular programming can resume now. I'm going to walk around and just have a little look, have a little bit more of an explore. I don't know what level this is, but there's still a few more waterfalls to have a look at. This place is awesome. Check out all these fish in the waterfall. So this is it, the final fall, the seventh tier fall, I think it is. And pretty cool. I think it is that anyway. Trouble is that yeah, it's a really popular place to go, so there's a lot of people here all the time. But I'm one of those tourists as well, so at least you get a real sense of how it is. It's beautiful. Just don't expect to come on your own. <laughs> Aha, 
Oh, it's wrong. That's only the third step. Still have four, five, six, and seven. Nice. So this is level four. Now level five. Yeah, this place is really nice. I have no idea how big it is. You can see how much I'm sweating. It's just from walking up this hill. I guess it is 2,000 meters. And I've been walking it pretty quick, but I am dripping. Hopefully, it's a place to cool off at the end. This is something you should not be doing with your new camera in your backpack. But it is really cool. This is beautiful. Wow! So this is the seventh tier. We are, well, I am finally here. My bum is hurting, <laughs> in case you were wondering. Uh, hurt more than I let on. But anyway, made it. What? First step? I don't know, I think it's the seventh step. Anyway. Right, so I just walk in. Across there, and just fell in with my backpack and my camera in my hand. So, I don't know. I'm trying to let it dry off now, but I don't want to turn it on again. I'm not going to turn it on again today anyway, just going to let it dry out. And hopefully, it still works tomorrow. So, I'm going to leave it there. This is on my GoPro. I'm going to leave it there because I don't want to try and film it again. At least I made it to the top of the waterfall. So, thanks for watching. Hopefully we continue tomorrow. <laughs> and this is my life.